Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Attack. So in the previous video, we discussed about Sonar Cube, what it is, what are its features, and then why one should use it out. And also we discussed how we can use it. So in this video, we are going to discuss how we can install the Sonar Cube on Docker. So for that, I already have prepared a Docker Compose file. Let me try to brief you that, and then after that, we'll try to create a container where we'll try to make our Docker image of Sonar Cube up and running, and then see how it is behaving. So that is what we are going to discuss today. So let's get started for that, and let me try to come out of it. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to open that Docker Compose file that I created. So here you can see that I have already created one Docker Compose file. Let me try to open it out. So inside that Docker Compose file, we defined the image that we are going to pull from the Docker Hub. And the container that we are going to create. And inside that particular container, this image will be up and running. So those things we defined here already. So let me try to show you. So you can see that uh, we have the services and inside the services we have two services one is the sonar cube service another is the db service the image for the sonar cube service is sonar cube and we are taking the image as lts now the container name where the sonar cube image will be up and running is sonar cube it depends upon the db and here we have defined the service db where we have the service db image which is the postgres db we are using here and the container name for this db is sonar cube underscore db here we have set up the environment that we need to use in order to access the db like postgres user and the password and the db name okay and then the volumes we have defined here coming to this uh, sonar cube service we saw that this service depends upon the DB service and we provided the name of that service which is DB here and then the port number on which our sonar cube will be up and running and then the environment related to the sonar cube like sonar cube URL and the DB URL and then uh, sonar cube JDBC URL and then the sonar cube username and the password okay so everything we defined here and this is what our docker compose file is you can uh, google it out you will find the docker compose file for the sonar cube and if you are not getting it out what i will do is i will try to append this file under the project that i'm going to create and then directly you can go there and try to have a look and then use it out so don't worry on this now let me try to close it and then wherever you store this uh, docker compose file what you have to do is you have to open a command prompt here and before going to run this docker compose file what you have to do is you have to make sure that your docker desktop is up and running so just open up your docker desktop and wait for a few seconds uh, for me it will take few seconds of time to load it out so after that i can start uh, running this docker compose file so once your docker compose sorry docker desktop is up and running you can run this docker compose file and then you will see that it will try to execute the commands that you mentioned inside this docker compose like uh, it will try to pull this image from the docker hub the same uh, db image it will try to pull from the docker hub and then it will try to create a container for you where it will try to run your image inside that container all this connection will be established everything will be done once you will run this docker compose command under this uh, docker compose file so let me i think uh, for me the docker desktop is already up and running or i'm not sure why it is not loading up here so let me try to run this docker compose command so make sure your docker desktop is up and running and then you will have to run this command so let me try to run this command docker sorry docker compose up and just see so you can see that it's already created this uh, two containers one is sonar cube db and the another is sonar cube so according to the services that we defined it created this containers for us and our images inside this containers will be up and running and then we can access it out so this is not for the first time i am trying to run this command so if you are going to run this command for the first time 
if you are going to install your sonar cube for the first time on the docker it will take around uh, 10 to 15 minutes of your time to load or to pull all the images from the docker hub and then try to create the container for it and try to make the connection between the db and the sonar cube and then try to make it up and running so it will take a good amount of time for you this is the second time i'm doing here so that is why it is not taking so much time for me it already created it out and then it is up and running now what is i'm going to do is i'm going to go to this localhost 9000 where our sonar cube is up and running and then try to log in there so if you don't know i already have covered this piece of things that how you can configure your sonar cube so if you'll go there you will find it out let me try to go to this so you can see how to install it out we mentioned this step we can install the sonar cube using docker compose file and we did that and now we have to go to this URL which is localhost 9000 so copy it out and uh, let me try to go there and here you can see it is loading the sonar queue for the first time when you are going to log in here what it will do is it will uh, like for the first time you can use this admin as a username and admin as a password but it will try to prompt you to change your password and you have to provide your new password there so i already did all those steps so if you are doing it doing it for the first time what you have to do is you have to log in with the username admin and the password as admin and then it will ask you to change your password you have to change it out and then log in back with the username as admin and the password would be the changed password okay so let me try to log in here and here you can see we are inside our sonar cube dashboard now if you'll go to the project you'll find that i already have created one project and there it is showing the bugs vulnerabilities hot spots reviewed code smell coverage duplication lines everything it is showing here so as of now you can see that there is a no bug vulnerabilities there is only one code smell there so you can go and check it out so how you will check it out let me try to show you so if you'll go to this sonar cube you'll find there is a no uh, vulnerabilities bugs and security hotspots that are there nothing is there because simply what i did is i uh, created a simple application where i only only created one api and that api is nothing but it's trying to return a hello world so there is a no bug or vulnerabilities there that is why it is not showing anything okay if you'll go to this uh, code smell you will find that uh, it is showing something here let me show you so what it is showing let me click on it so you can see that this says that it add at least one assertion to this test case so when i develop this application let me try to show you the application as well so so this is the application what i did is uh, if you go there to this application you can see that i created one uh, api here and which is returning nothing but it's returning null i try to check it out if it is giving the uh, bugs or not for this so it does not give any bug for this uh, when we are returning null if you want to return something else you can also do that so it will not give anything uh, any vulnerabilities or any bugs because this is a simple api or simple application that we develop but it is giving us the code smell so what is the code smell here let me try to show you so it uh, says that at least one ins assertion to this test case should be there so if you'll go to test class of this uh, application you will find it out that there is a no test case we have created out so if you go to the test you go to this one you will find that there is a no test case so that is why it is giving you uh, that uh, message that you have to create at least uh, one assertion to this test case okay and this is under coming as under the code smell okay so this is how your sonar cube will look like once you will install it out and uh, go inside this uh, sonar cube dashboard okay now what i will do is i will try to tell you how you can create your project inside the sonar cube and then how you can 
attach uh, the token that you created from it and the project key to your main application so that the integration of the sonar cube to your spring boot application will be done and then whatever things is there in your application it will try to be scanned by the sonar cube itself okay so that is what we are going to discuss this uh, with this video was about how you can install the sonar cube on your docker machine and then how you can log in out log in to this sonar cube and uh, and then how this uh, sonar cube dashboard is looking like so this is about the video guys if you like the video please hit the like button in the next video i will try to show you how you can create the project inside the sonar cube and how you can create a spring boot application and how this integration will be done so just wait for that and this is about the video if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks